Dog Mad Project Squad. This is Epi. Now, a couple days ago, right, so I get a message. I say, Hey, you, you were right. I can't believe this. I can't believe that. And look what you did say. Right. Don't know why people do that. It's like if I say, Oh, look, there's a cat. Right. And you snap that look. Like you know what a cat look like. And then somebody else come to you and say, This is a cat. And then you're like, oh yeah, you were right, it's a cat. I'm always standing around like, I don't know what my response is supposed to be. What, thank you? I don't know. Weird. But anyway, I guess when things are this happen, right, the public is surprised. So, then keep, you know, getting shocked. But because this is something that, let me say, it's as obvious to me as looking at a cat by the gong, right, my reaction is, meh. The JA public, a republic of a long history of missing out slash ignoring slash being bamboozled slash 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 basically the public have a long history of not getting it especially things that they're supposed to get when time we come out and say certain things people normally counter by telling me who them know and who was them lecturer and who go down here so and who have this title this big title who, who tell them this so they know what me are talking about and I don't argue with people because right, I know days like these right, are coming so why them come here UWI University of the Woke in this the current breeding ground, one of the main breeding ground for the nation's quote unquote leaders. Remember your favorite chief? Corey? You know the accountant during Bush Warrior overnight? You know, the man who went from digging in Excel one day to digging in the bush the next. Remember him? Just to get some braids on, just ear style and swag. And put him on you know, one of your favorite foreign platforms and I see you were bamboozled. Basic history went out the window. Basic common sense went out the window. Basic logic went out the window. Fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Remember him? When I did a video on him, a number of so called educated folk took me up saying, this connection I'm making is baseless because you're mentioning about people donating money towards child development and you know LGB that don't mean that there's going to be anything deeper than that they're just trying to help so tell me drop that video and some videos surrounding a man telling him say, well, this thing bigger than I see on the surface yeah you now look like a walk back in time can't easy to forget so we can know how we get here that was on the first time we had shown man telling the city that we end up reaching us. And me say, people like me and tell me, say, this is Jamaica. What you're saying is basis because we would not have that here. Even though people are doing, that don't mean nothing. As usual, confident and ignorant. Tell me, say, once they Monday, and certain people, certain groups, started doing it, quote unquote, child development. I knew it was over. I could see it. These groups use money and donations and this and that and call themselves foundations of this and that and they buy out your favorite scholars and lecturers who have your children's mind in their hands. And in typical fashion, the Ari masses, being as blind as they usually are, didn't even see them sneaking in the back door. Excuse the pun. Man, I messaged me. How did you know? How did you know? The real question is, how did you not know? Because it looked really obvious to me. To take a nation without force. Right. You must take the minds of the people. Right. You nurture uh, the next generation of leaders, policy makers, who will in turn get power and implement your policies. Whereas the academics, the doctors, the politicians, the journalists, the lawyers, the judges, 
right? All the top execs in your major companies and everything there. Right? Where's the one place where you can find all these people just huddled together? And where you can find them just walking around on a day-to-day -day basis? In the halls. Yes, the halls. I'm going to talk about this sweetie. This quote-unquote gender role at UE is the culmination of them. We already know so they might be a favorite artist then on them knees. We already know say so, I won't see them start backtrack this and backtrack it and all of a sudden they, they start worried about who offended and this and that. But I'm not just a favorite artist then. Let me say the people them who them help quote unquote donate to you know help give that scholarship or help give this, help give that help push through you will help you know when you gonna repay that help some way somehow let me read a piece of the observer article it states the new policy focuses on a person's gender identity when we read the observer article i'm gonna think was this is really funny again no pun intended let me give you a little piece of It said the new policy focuses on a person's gender identity. And then lists out some of these like, identities. Where it's gender non-conforming, non-binary, bicycle, a tricycle, a transformer, transmission, translucent. Let me see all kind of things that's all. one hell of a list. Transportation, all kind of a long list. It goes on to state it is said to be designed, this new policy they might talk about, it is said to be designed to foster a secure environment in which all students and staff members across the spectrum of gender and sexual identities on all campuses feel protected and safe from any form of gender-related violence in the See, we don't have to understand how people cleverly use words. Because when you see that now, protected from gender-related violence, if you go against it, it makes it sound like you support gender-related violence. Well, never to me. Even though enough people can't read it, ask them, what do you mean by generated violence? The people in the, if you break down violence by gender, keep, you know what, I'm not even going to listen. Let me stay on topic. So, protected and safe from any form of generated violence. Hold a policy around, you know, gender identity and people now being called non-binary and this and that. How would that protect somebody from gender-related violence? These are the questions you need to ask. Let's say, right, Carlton now say him a cisgender. Carlton say him a transmission. So him identify the transmission and he must call Carlton a transmission. How does that protect and make Carlton feel safe from gender-related violence? Sorry, let me tell you about big mistake. Let's use a man. We know society a bit more man. Let me use a woman. Kerry. Kerry identify as a transformer. A transmission. If she identifies as a transmission, that's her identity. And everybody on the campus accepts that she's a transmission. How does that now protect carry and makes you feel safe from any form of gender-related violence. That can protect you and make you feel safe from that. If anything, it probably invite right, more eyes, more attacks, so to speak. Because now, if somebody come, if me see you are walking on the road as a man, right, are we in the same classroom? You over the same, you over yourself. But just come to my class and go about my business. But if me hear you ball out now, say, right, you're a unicorn. And you identify as a unicorn. No, that's going to make more reason there, there for people to make fun of you. Or call it this and call it names and color. Right. That don't protect you from no form of no kind of 
That is ridiculous. Being an identifier of anything, identifying as anything, will not protect nobody and make nobody feel safe from the gender-related violence. They insert these things so that you cannot offer any form of criticism or counter to it because now it looks like you support quote unquote gender related violence. So when you now come out and say, what is this can go on? They then say, oh, oh, oh. So you want students right, to suffer from gender related violence. Because all these children in UA are being murdered right, and losing them heads because they identify as hmm, a transmission. And if we don't bring in this policy, more will die and the, the, the violence bro it's because we're trying to protect the, the students and the teach from the violence. When you hear that no, you, you start to quiver and you say, well, I don't want to be the one to, you know, I don't want to be seen like I'm for the violence. I don't want, I mean, gender, it sounds so terrible, gender. Okay, I guess. I mean, if it's to protect and make them feel safe from the gender, I guess. I wouldn't want to be, I don't, I don't want to be branded as somebody who supports gender-related violence against Cisco and create living, working and learning environments across the university which provide for all gen you there's an entire part of UWIG that is an aquarium. If any kind of vi most of the violence within that community is done by other people in the community. It is jealousy and rage and mana beat them man and themselves. This is nothing more than emotional blackmail so you feel bad and you say well I don't want to be against the poor little youth who want to identify as a transmission and because he, because he can't identify the transmission he's now in, in line for gender related violence and he can't work and learn in peace. So now if we change the policy and bring this in you, so now that he can identify the transmission right then that is going to make him learn better right and now he has a chance at life. Are you against youths learning and having a chance at life? You're a bad person. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, you disgust me because you support gender-related violence and you don't want to use them to have a living, working and learning environment right, where they can feel and, you know, and function properly because until they can identify right, as a unicorn because that's how they feel they are unicorns, right? and if me feel me a unicorn, then I am one, right? then right? you are a terrible person. So soon this will spread from ground zero, which is you. Right? Ground zero, if I say this, so any, any tests and experiments them do, and just the lab alone them test things, you know, for them put it out. Them tests and experiments on social matters like that too. Right? Policies, them test, uh, them feel it out, are you and them place it for us, then it reach the rest society. Things that just creep up on you cause right, your so-called rebels are controlled opposition. Right? You see, the example I given earlier with your favorite chief. Never forget, there wasn't even any mainstream coverage of the proxy your favorite. Right? Foreign billionaire was funding child development in Ireland. There was no mainstream coverage of this. It was like one little article, you remember? Don't you forget? How now, how now I think to myself, so well, well, surely the, the journalists and the, and, the, and the politicians and the opposition leader and the, and the man they must say them at least, and, and the, and the artists they must say them born for and bubble, and surely them are going to call out. They are going to find this out, right? No. Controlled opposition. Iron Man is full of controlled opposition. Right? They must have this vague, they must have like vague things on the fall. Oh, the system, I'm again, and the injustice, and there's some vague words in here. No, remember, I'm giving you the exact right details. I will go on. I'm calling in the machine to see the right. This is your favorite, right, boss, and your favorite big week. I'm firing. You can't believe it come true. Well, I can't believe it's not butter. You see, you fail to see where I keep drawing comparison between in form of dead and boom, bye bye. 
you tell me say my man a big star and for, you know me, me, me on a body and stop but and, and, and then now right, when things are something could not see the build up could not realize how these things start you have to start somewhere so first they get rid of them type of sound they get rid of that type of narrative right you use the entertainment purpose to that because entertainment is powerful it can help shape right how people view things so you get rid of that first all of a sudden just one type of song is offensive just one type of song hurts just one type of song is murder music just one type it's okay if you say anybody can do it except scratch so them go around the halls and them recruit man for various things all right you can be you have to do this you have to do this you have to do that some of them, for them job is to try and destabilize the nation, the sovereign state crap. Others like the ballad masquerading as a Rastaman, right? was appropriated Rastaman image. And for them job is to tell the people them, say music can't influence nothing. So now, the road is clear for the academics thing. If you tell you, say, if you feel like a Volkswagen, then you are a car. And people must call you a car because when you are two years old, you feel like a beetle. You feel like a beetle of a beetle, so, you know, call me a car because if you don't call me a car, then my feelings are going to be hurt, right? And uh, I might hurt myself. You want me to hurt myself? If I hurt myself, it's because of you, because you refuse to call me a car, I might hurt myself. And then the emotional block me, so. And then they start getting in trouble at work because you refuse to call a grown man a car. You hear, so you must call him this because that's what he identifies. Right. And if you don't call him this, then this is what's going to happen to you. So now you start thinking about it and you say, well, right, this is clearly not a car. Right. This man is not, you know, a video about tattoo panning for it, but this is not a Volkswagen in front of me. But then you start thinking about your rent and your mortgage. And you start thinking about the pit them school fee. Right. So no, yes, so well, I'm just work with it, yeah, man. And next thing you know, you're walking around calling Carlton, works work on Polo, and it will trickle all the way down to the rest of Ireland, man. Start a year, what to do go further? You can do what you want, Mr. Spratt. But when you start telling me, I have to look at this rusty alley back, man. You know, in face and call him Maybelline. We have a problem. Remember, they said we're not trying to push anything on anybody. On that's what they said in the Uncle Sam place. That's what they said in Canada. That's what they said in Europe. And we we'll see how that go. Iron Man is next. So brace yourself. The quote unquote gender role you so it's gender role at your gym, gender role at your workplace, gender role. All over the place. Pay a row. Pay a row. Come like a row like a boat. Brand new song, Roses I Promote. Let me say, I wish you the best. The Iron Masses take so long to see obvious things that all we can say is wishing you the best. As one of the you know, senior members of the PIA. Said to me when the story come out. By the end of the day, the masses are gonna forget about this. Right? My real thing about her. Because what I really spend time on is entertainment and gimmicks. Right? What I really care about is who dared, who won, who beat, who who. Anyway, go and practice from now. Carlton, right? Say, my transformer. Go and practice for tell Carlton say. Go and practice when time Carlton say, my carry. You look funny, man. Dead in my eye. Even this the big Adam's up in I'm throat. Right. I say, good morning, Kerry, when you're walking around. Work. Because if you don't do it, then you support violence. And you're evil. Anyway, Patreon Squad, you go for yourself. PIA, you don't know, more life. Ultra Squad, see you circling. Bless.